Good day everyone. We are done with discussing about living things and non-living things. Now, let's proceed to our new lesson. At the end of the class, you will be able to first identify non-living things found at your house. Second, describe the characteristics of non-living things that can be found at your house. Now, let's have our um, topic for today. It's all about finding non-living things. So, what are the examples of non-living things? First, let's watch this video. In the video, in the video you're going to give uh, examples of non-living things. So, can you find non-living things na nakita niyo po sa video? That's all for our topic for today. See you again, everyone.